Now we turn to America at war. Another round of troops from the Rhode Island National Guard's 143rd Airlift Wing returned home today. They just spent months overseas away from their loved ones supporting Operation Enduring Freedom. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace joins us now live in North Kingstown at Quonset Air National Guard Base. Shannon, the airmen have been gone for four months, so this afternoon there were a whole lot of flowers and signs and plenty of smiles, too, here at the Quonset Air National Guard base, and there were a few tears, too. When it comes to a welcome home, Who are you waiting for? few words are needed. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, I love it, you guys. Thank you very much. I just was saying how much they were going to give you a hug as soon as you showed up. They did. Up. They definitely came through on that, huh? Made it worth it, didn't it? They did. Yeah, it did. It's great to see them. Uh, great, to, great to have all three of my girls back to uh, with me. It's awesome. This six-year-old is clearly another daddy's girl. I have a great helper, my six-year-old daughter, Kendall. And it's just really, really nice to have him home where he leaves, and we're happy to see him. And Senior Master Sergeant Gregory Boutel is just as happy to see them. It's a long four months, you know, the, the wife's at home taking care of the house, and it was a tough winter, so it's good to be home and be able to take care of things now. Everyone here will tell you hugs are nice, but it's even better when you can hug at home. Hey, thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. And there were approximately 130 airmen who returned this afternoon. Reporting live with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.